Hello and welcome to Throwback Thursday. Today I want to talk about something a little bit different, the Luck You Tea House, which is in Stanley Street, Hong Kong. And I used to go to this tea house every weekend for about five years when I lived in Hong Kong and it was the most fabulous place. It was um, in this little tiny street in Hong Kong and all the waiters were like at least 100. I think they had to be 100 years old to work there. It was terribly old-fashioned and they even had the old spittoons everywhere. Anyway, I looked it up on the internet today because I was thinking about things I did there to make my life easier and how we do the same thing with our horse training and how we break things down and make things simpler for our horses in the same way as I did at the Luck UT House. And I was really interested to find that the place is still going. My goodness, the prices have gone up hugely, but I'm talking 30 years ago, so it was a long time. Anyway, I found a picture. That's the Luck UT House. So if you're ever in Hong Kong, that's inside. It's very beautiful. Um, do go along and, and have some tea and some dim sum in there. They serve the best dim sum. But the problem with it was when I was there was that um, – None of the waiters spoke any English at all. They're all Cantonese. It was terribly, it was terribly Cantonese, really. The whole, the whole environment was really bright lights. And the, because it was so popular, there was always a huge queue and stuff. So you, you'd arrive at your, um, whenever, whenever you came, you know, if you didn't have to queue outside, great. But if you did, you'd stand outside and wait for a table to become available. They didn't actually wait for the table to become available. They would go and stand you next to some other poor couple who were scoffing down their dim sums. <laughs> and, um, and you'd stand there and wait until they finished and then you'd grab the table. And the same thing would happen to you in about half an hour or less. Anyway, one of the big problems was there were no English menus. So the menu looked like this. And the, what you had to do was you circle whatever it is that you want. Either that or you just wait for the trolley to come around and you, you look at everything on the trolley and you have this and this. But this is more cool, right? It's better to be able to use the menu. So I got a local friend to tell me what they all were. And you can see they've actually got numbers up the top and you just put your circle around the um, the characters that you want. So I memorized the numbers and I used to be able to fill out the menu, which I thought was really good. And that is actually just a way of breaking things down. You know, that's a way of making things simpler for me to order lunch in the same way as we do for the horse to learn a lesson. So if we take the hips to the fence for mounting, for example, well, we, the horse can move in six directions. So any one point on the horse can move in six directions. Now, with the hips to the fence for mounting, we only want the horse to move its left foot to the left. But it can move its left foot left, right, back, forward, up and down. So we make it easier for the horse by doing several things. We hold very close to the bit, so, and that discourages backwards and forwards movement. And then we put the horse on the fence. And that means it's really hard for the horse to move left. So that leaves three options for the horse that are easy. Well, one's not so easy. It could sit down, which is unlikely to do, not very easy. It could kick uh, buck or kick out, so that would be up. And that's, again, that's quite an energy expensive movement, so it's unlikely to do that. And the third one is it could move its left foot left. So we've really limited the horse's options and so it's much more likely for the horse to get that right and which makes the whole lesson so much easier for the horse and I did the same thing with the menu you know I just made it much easier for myself to order lunch by um, limiting all the options that I never had to ask anybody. The other problem with that um, restaurant was that they only had chopsticks so I bought props today um, and when my parents used to come and stay, of course, we, we'd take them there and they couldn't use the chopsticks. And you'd ask for a fork and they'd say, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I don't, don't know what you're talking about. And certainly haven't got a fork. And if we did, we're not giving it to you. It was basically the answer. And, you know, very few people realised that had never used chopsticks before, that only one of the chopsticks moves. You know, the bottom one stays still, the top one moves. Anyway, they, they were kind enough. They saw my parents struggling with this, trying to eat their, eat their lunch like this. And so 
they they broke it down for them and they, they did a very kind thing to make it easier for my parents to eat lunch was they brought and here's one i've prepared earlier and i've blue petered this and for you nazi grammars blue petering something that is a verb to blue peter something and i have blue petered this this is one i prepared earlier there's a little bit of cardboard and then an elastic band and what that that makes whoa i broke it <laughs> If you're careful, that makes you a pair of kitty chopsticks, which were perfect for my parents because they could just do this like a pair of tongs and they could eat three times the amount of lunch, which I suppose was the idea the waiters had originally. But there we are. That's breaking it down and making it easier for well, the lunch goer or the horse. Um, so the more we can break a lesson down, the easier we can make it for the horse to learn the lesson the better the horse's experience is going to be of learning and the more the horse is going to want to come back next time to learn some more and that's why i ended up at the lucky tea house every saturday for five years <laughs> anyway i'll see you tomorrow tomorrow is can do fitness and i'm going to be broadcasting from the can do fitness page so i hope you have already been there and liked that page and i will see you then Bye now.